Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to Yoga and Wellness with Amanda. So today's video, I wanna do something a little bit different. We're not actually gonna go into a yoga practice today. I just wanted to take some time to chat about an upcoming series that I'm working on. So this new series that I have started developing is a Yoga Fundamentals series. And the reason why I wanted to to produce a series like this is really inspired by how my yoga journey started. So when I first started to attend public yoga classes, I had really no idea what I was doing and I was very nervous and very self-conscious and I found myself pretty confused in a lot of poses. I would be looking around at other students or trying to find the teacher to see if they were demonstrating the pose that I was unfamiliar with and a lot of the times I wasn't able to settle into that pose before we moved on to the next thing and that isn't saying that the teacher was not cueing me into the pose well enough. I just wasn't familiar with the terminology and didn't know what it should feel like or what it should look like. And I was really intimidated to speak to the instructor or follow along. So I found myself in what I thought was child's pose at the time for a lot of poses or I would take my time transitioning to a pose that I wasn't familiar with so I wouldn't actually make it there in time to hold it long enough. And I found it strange that we were moving through these poses so quickly when it was said to be a beginner's yoga class. And I was looking for a class that would actually break down poses enough for me to understand, to know what they looked like, what they felt like, what different parts of my body should be doing so I could get into that pose efficiently, effectively, and accurately. And I found that the way that yoga classes work is there's this assumption between student and teacher that you already know what this pose is and how it should feel like. And as an instructor, we are just cueing you into that pose and reminding you of a few things very quickly to help you get there. And I know from my own experience that sometimes that isn't enough. So the goal of this series that I'm developing is a yoga fundamental series where each video is an in-depth breakdown of an individual pose. Now that could be child pose or downward dog or warrior pose just to kind of go through different cues that are commonly used or things that I think are valuable to teach you to properly get into the pose with minimal direction and having this kind of background basis of knowledge developed on your own is going to really allow you to flow through active classes with a lot more ease and at least that's my intention now with that being said, there are still some poses in my own personal practice that I am not 100% confident or comfortable in, and those aren't poses that I want to go over fundamentals of quite yet. So if there's a pose that maybe you want a little bit more information or knowledge on or wanna dive into different cues or how different parts of the body should be feeling or positioned in that particular pose, that's what I wanna hear from you guys. So that's kind of the purpose of this video is to introduce my plan for this Yoga Fundamentals series and gather feedback as I develop these videos and really try and find out what poses are you unsure about? What poses do you wish you had a little bit more fundamental knowledge about in order to make your practice more fulfilling and safer? And that's just something that I kind of wanted to call out and ask you guys about. So uh, I definitely plan on going through poses, like I mentioned, child's pose and downward dog, even tabletop and cat and cow, uh, the warrior uh, poses and things like that. But if there's any specific pose that you're like, man, I don't really know how to get in and out of this pose or what am I supposed to be activating or what do you mean 
by rotate this part of the body in this way or press this in this direction. And I, I know it can get a little confusing, you know, and that's kind of why I wanted to become a yoga teacher is so I could work with my students to kind of develop this open communication and deeper understanding of individual poses so you could flow through a class with confidence. And that is the goal of this series. So I'm going to start filming and producing these videos and kind of place them in an order that can set us up to do an effective yoga flow with an increased body of knowledge. So we're probably going to start out with like a Sukhasana, a seated pose, or a uh, child's pose, and then kind of move up into a vinyasa. And each video is only going to be focusing on one pose. And we'll talk about different modifications and props that can be used and kind of dive into the specifics of that individual pose. Um, I'm not quite sure the length of each video or how that's going to play out yet. I think we'll just kind of develop it as we go but that is my goal for the spring is to start developing these videos and providing a in-depth body of knowledge to help deepen your understanding of the poses and the practice increase your confidence and comfortability and just give you some options to really understand what's happening in the body and by no means am I like a yoga expert or like like a medical muscle guru or whatever. This is strictly my personal opinion and knowledge that I've gained throughout my studies and my practices and personal experience that I'm combining into some quick informative excerpts to help guide you in your personal practice. Now I consider myself a credible source. I've been doing this for a while and I have some knowledge, but I'm no way, shape or form like a guru of any sorts. I just want to provide a little bit of in-depth knowledge for some of these poses to help make your yoga practice more fulfilling. So if you have any particular pose that you want to learn about or work on, drop that in the comment section below and I'll start compiling a list of these poses so we can start building our yoga fund mental practice together. So I think that covers most of it. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions about this series, please don't hesitate to comment below. I want to build this series for you to help you and expand our practice together. So with that being said, I can't wait to hear from you as we start this journey together and I can't wait to see you in the next video.